Oh. My God. No tape coming in halfway through a project. This was my copper winnowing cell that I was using to try to see if you could actually winnow a piece of brass and make it into copper. And you can, but I don't know if you can see any of that down in there. It did not attach well to the to the copper. Uh, I forget which one is the cathode and which was the anode, but uh, either way, because the concentration of the copper sulfate dropped so low, it uh, wasn't plating out very efficiently, and it basically just made a trail between the the current. So I cut it off. I guess to refresh it, I have to buy more copper sulfate, and. I basically proved the point I wanted to prove to myself. There was no other videos. There was no thing that I could prove. The only one I could find said that the copper concentration had to be 97% or better. And then one person said you could use copper ore. Well, I knew both couldn't be true. So the composition of brass should be about 80% copper. But to be honest with you, the residue that's left over after this process is over, the, the black fines don't equal 15% or better of the mass. So we'll see how, how they're refined when we, melt the, uh, when we melt the copper powder, see how much it looks like copper and how much it looks like brass, I reckon. That was the top. It's sitting in there at an angle. And the bottom smooth and it's uh it's almost progressive it's like a, a step pattern well hey bob bob has joined us bob was missing for a few days but he finally showed back up i guess he climbed a tree but uh we just wanted to show you that little piece of brass there Right, we're going to leave you alone. Get out of your hair. There you go. Well, there's your basic uh, copper sludge. I did at least have a, the forethought to put a tray in the bottom of the pan this time to kind of corral it. Tabby. Around the world, thousands of animals are abused or neglected each year. This isn't one of them, but she might be if she don't hurry up and start acting right. Well, we rinsed off the copper off the tray using hot tap water. Put it in a container. We're going to let it settle. Then pour off the rinse water. It's been settling for a, a couple of hours now. We'll leave it to settle overnight. Uh, here's the copper powder all dried out. It's been rinsed three times of hot water left to settle and then uh, heated to drive off the water. There's a shiny piece of copper for comparison. But now that it's dry, we probably got, oh, it's hard to tell, 8, 12 ounces there. We're going to powder it up and put it in a bag for storage. Of sensitive eyes, now's the time to close them. Either that or put on some of those dark glasses that you wash the sun with. We ended up with 11 ounces of copper powder in the second batch. The uh, first batch I'm going to keep uh, and do some experiments on myself when I get a furnace. But uh, for now, we're going to send this up north to the scrapyard and Scrappy Jr. 
and uh, let them melt it in their furnace and see how it is. And next week we should be having another package coming in from Value Hunter. So we'll be excited to go through that. Sure am glad you could join us. And we'll see you next time. Say good night, Shogun. Man, Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself. <laughs>